Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get Jellyfin working on your iOS devices. Now I don't know if this is just the way I have my server set up, but I cannot get it working for the life of me, but hopefully this will show you how to connect your Jellyfin app to your Jellyfin server. Now if you want to actually use this outside of your home or not of your Wi-Fi, you can either use Cloudflare tunnels or you can um, use port forwarding on your router. But because this is just a tutorial, I'm not going to actually have it hosted on my domain or anything. I'm just going to use it um, with my IP and stuff. So, yeah. So, first up to actually download the app, you want to go to Purple Store. So, um... Oh, hey, Polo. Right. I'm going to go to Purple... Purple Store... Dot... A14 to 9. Dot lol. All right. So yeah, you just want to head to Purple Store real quick, and I don't know why it's a little broken, but now once you're in Purple Store, you want to go to search iOS only, and you want to find um, Jellyfin for Legacy iOS, and then just click Install or Get, and then um, install with ITMS services. It'll, if it says get, then just click get and then click download. So now once you have Jellyfin on your iOS device, what you want to do is go to your settings, scroll all the way down until you find Jellyfin. And this is where you're going to put in your instance URL. And you do not need your API key. So your instance URL is going to be whichever URL is hosted on your computer. Now if you're just gonna, you're wanting to use this at home, you can use your computer IP address. Um, but yeah, you just want to find your instance URL and put it in here. So mine is http colon forward slash forward slash one nine two one six eight forty thirty and then whatever your IP is it's gonna be trailing with eight zero nine six. Now if you use Cloudflare tunnels you might not have to append this eight zero nine six, but if you're just using your IP, um then you're gonna have to append that. Now API key, you leave that blank. Now what you want to do, you want to go to your Jellyfin app. It's going to say to oh, log in, open Jellyfin on another device. So you want to get to get the code. It's going to request a code. You might have to restart the app real quick. Maybe I put in something wrong. Let me double check real quick. Um, Jellyfin. I think here you can just like put in any junk API key because you don't really need to use one. So and go back, get code. Ah, oh one nine two one six eight. All right, so after you you want to enter in your i uh, instance URL here and then. Trailer with eight zero nine six. Now, if you're going to use Cloudflare tunnels, I'm not sure whether that that will work. Then you will not have to append this eight zero nine six. But if you are just using a raw IP and or port forwarding, you do want to append that bit there. Afterwards, you want to go click on Jellyfin and find that code there. Now, what you want to do, you want to go to your Jellyfin instance URL on your computer. Go to um, your dashboard. Scroll. No, you actually want to go to your regular home page here. Click on profile and click Quick Connect, or at this area here. And then you want to find enter the Quick Connect code that's on your device. So nine zero three one two nine. Then you want to click Authorize. And now if it says successfully authenticated, sorry, I'm stuttering. Then just click authentication check, and there we go. You're successfully authenticated, and then restart the app. Now for for now for whatever reason, I cannot get anything to show up here, even though I do have media, I have music and shows, but yeah, hopefully, maybe I just set up my instance wrong. But this hopefully will get let you at least connect to your instance. But just for me, I don't know why, but it doesn't have anything set up here. However, if I do go to my dashboard and devices, you can see that my iPhone 5 is connected using Jellyfin for legacy iOS. So, um, yeah. I might. I think you might also have to use a newer version found. So I'll link the GitHub below, maybe download the IPA from that. Um, yeah, 
Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.